Mike Moore Media. On the media line, I'm talking to Debbie Moose, food writer, cookbook author, and uh, we have this monthly visit uh, to kind of get together and find out what's going on in the kitchen and in uh, her world of food. And uh, today's a day. Hey, Debbie. Hey, how are you? You know, I'm doing just great, and I hope you are. I am too. I'm going a little nutty this time of year. Nutty? It's it's kind of, I'm watching, <laughs> looking out the window, and I see the squirrels are getting a little nutty out there too, getting ready for winter apparently oh, don't let them get don't let them get too close to you michael they'll try to get you up for the winter i know that's that's probably true i've got the door closed or they'd be in here on me <laughs> but uh yes uh but we're talking about pecans today or pecans i don't care how you say it i love them me too They're, they are my favorite nut well besides my husband but don't um <laughs> They are my favorite nut. What I like about them is they're, I mean, as opposed to walnuts. Mm-hmm. Most people, it's either walnuts or pecans if you're talking about baking with something. Walnuts, to me, have a, a bitter edge to them, kind of a bitterness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, depending on what you're making, you know, like if you're doing something that's very sweet and you want a little of that, you know, that could be good, but... I, in general, don't find that bitterness appealing. Right, I and understand. Pecans have a little bit of sweetness to them. Um, they're better for roasting and eating whole. I've never seen anybody roast, you know, make spicy roasted walnuts. No. I mean, I guess somebody does. <laughs> but um, pecans have, or pecans, I'm not going to I'm not gonna judge no matter how you say it. Okay, thank you. Um, so they have that little bit of sweetness. They have a really pretty shape, you know, to, and everybody's had the roasted pecan, and they just really blend in, I think, with a lot of Southern cooking. Just they're Southern, like you and me, Mike. They're hmm. Southern nuts. They're Southern nuts, ma'am. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> right sir. Right, right. <laughs> okay. And, you know, and I think, uh, I don't know, I guess maybe it's a Southern thing, too, but but I believe everybody, so many people just love pecans because they're so versatile in cooking, too, aren't they? That's what you're saying. Yes, and they don't have, they don't have the strong flavor of a walnut. Like, I don't think you could make walnut-crusted um, fish. I mean, that's a classic recipe. I mean, I've got one in Carolina Cat. Pecan-crusted flounder, now that's a classic. Mm-hmm. You're talking, um, yeah. Because they have that kind of mild, slightly nutty, slightly sweet, um, good texture. They're still really crispy, and they're just more available around here. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I know that the um, um, the Moravian Cookies, there's one company that in Winston-Salem that makes a uh, black walnut cookie, and I never have quite understood that, but I guess it must be a German Mm -hmm. Because around here, it would be a pecan cookie. We've all had pecan cookies. We've all had the roasted pecans. And it's coming up the time of year, which is a good time for us to be talking. It's coming up the time of year where the new harvest will be showing up at farmer's markets. The Mm. new Mm. fresh pecans. Oh, boy. And Mm. I go and I get bags and bags of those because I use them all through the winter. And you can freeze those. They freeze beautifully. Um, just put them right in the bag they come in, and then when you open that bag, be sure to put it in another airtight bag. So, um, you know, if you don't use the whole bag at once, so that it will stay, you know, it won't get freezer burn or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're right. There's nothing like <laughs> fresh pecans. My uh, my dad, had we had in our backyard in Spencer a huge pecan tree and i mean the bushels and bushels and bushels of pecans came off that tree and you know we had them uh uh for all, all the time you know at, at pecan at that season and and used them in so many ways well you also had to uh i bet you were also drafted to to crack and shell them oh right? yeah yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know and it's a gift if you can shell those whole and they come out you know you're fine you don't want little pieces yeah i've when I was growing up, of course, you couldn't buy shelled ones. You could only just buy them in the shell. And I spent many hours in the kitchen uh, where my mother was going to make a fruit cake at Christmas, mm-hmm. um, cracking those nuts. Oh yeah, me too. 
Sure. Um, or sitting in the living room with her while she was watching her stories, her uh, soap operas. Mm-hmm. Right. And we're sitting in there cracking nuts and uh, watching her stories. That's right. <laughs> you know, I, I've got in front of me, uh, you were a contributor in the um, Savor the South cookbook series for UNC Press, and I have uh, Pecan's, the uh, Catherine Purvis book, and I look back in my notes here. I can't believe it's been so many years since Catherine and I talked, and that book came out. But I, I'm doing a little uh, reading in the beginning before I called you, and uh, Pecan's go back a, a long, long time, maybe to George Washington, Thomas Jefferson days. Yes, I mean, I have Kathleen's book, too. It's a wonderful book. Um, she and I are the only two authors who have written two Savor the South books. You might want to know. Oh, that's true. That's right, yes. And so we did a lot of book tour traveling together, and that was always a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, they go back a long, long way, and they're a distant relative botanically of hickory nuts. Okay. Um, Kathleen says, so, um, mm-hmm. you know, anyone that might want to know that. So, and the thing about pecans is um, roasting them. You know, a lot of times you want to, any nut, a lot of times you want to roast it a little bit before, or toast it before you put it into whatever you're making, you know, cookies or a, a, a baked good. Mm-hmm. So toasting ele- just sort of brings out the flavor a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. But the trick with nuts is there's a fine line, just like there's a fine line between Saturday night and Sunday morning, according to Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> there is a fine line between toasted and burnt. Oh, that's right, yes. Um, and it will be crossed very quickly mm. if you don't pay attention. So I, until actually until I met Red Kathleen's book, I was always toasting my pecans in the oven. Mm-hmm. And that's dangerous because, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And before you know it, you've got, you know, burnt nuts. Oh, no. So um, from her advice, I now toast them in a skillet on top of the stove. And it's much easier to see what's going on, to stir them, to, to pay attention, to, to detect an odor, you know, mm-hmm. if you smell something. Mm-hmm. It's just you have much more control if you're doing it on the stove. Okay, yeah, have that visual. So just, just a dry skillet um, and just keep turning it, adjust the heat. Um, you, you don't want anything to start um, turning the leaves a little bit black because that's going to be, that's like black specks in a roux. You have to just throw it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want that. Um, so I, that, was a, that was a big changer for me to, to start toasting them on top of the stove. Mm-hmm, okay. You know, there are, you, you mentioned um, um, somebody, a company a little bit ago, but there are, uh, this time of the year, we're, we're getting the catalogs and seeing a lot yeah. online about, uh, you know, some of the companies right here in North Carolina that have uh, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, pecan things, and whether it's fruitcakes, and I'm thinking of a couple that, I, that we like especially. But, um, yeah, so this is the time of year to be thinking about uh, getting those uh, nice and fresh and be ready for some holiday baking. Yes, it's not going to hurt to go ahead and stock up. Yeah. Um, you know, at a farmer's market, the one I go to here in Raleigh, mm-hmm. um, I mean, I can usually tell when they're, the fresh ones out because everybody has big bags of them, but the vendors I shop with, they'll tell me, oh, yeah, we just got these. Um, they're this year's crop, nice and fresh. And um, I take those home, pop them right in the freezer, um, and they'll be good for months. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I said, as long as if you open the bag, put it in something airtight, and right. put it back in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. Um, because sometimes I just do a. Sometimes I'll just open up the freezer, grab a few, uh, toast them up, and throw them in a salad. I love. I like the texture in a salad of some nuts or something crunchy. Oh, I do too. Um, you know, I, I like the. Yeah. If I make a salad here at home, it's going to have pecans and raisins, and you know, a couple of things like that. Uh, but, you know, I have a favorite, and I may have invented this, Debbie. I'm not sure. But I love <laughs> I love dates, uh, you know, the dromedary dates. And, and uh, so I, I, put one, I put a date in the middle. I have a pecan on either side. So I make a little date sandwich. Ooh. Oh, that is so good. In fact, I think when we finish this podcast, I'll go have that might be part of my breakfast. Oh. Mm. You could do one. Take- you could do one pecan, but I prefer two. 
So you take the pit out of the date. Obviously, oh, yeah. Yep, you yep. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, and that could, ooh, that could make, you know, if you stuff that date. Uh, oh, now we're talking. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of cream cheese. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. It and just then got you'd better. you'd have an appetizer. You'd have appetizer that you could serve your lovely wife in the evening when she's preparing dinner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> sure. I'll, I'll whip that up today. <laughs> yeah. Well, toasted toasted pecans. We've all eaten, you know, we we'll, we Southerners will do anything with a pecan. Mm-hmm. We will toast it. We'll put hot sauce on it. We'll do everything with it. And... Uh, in her book, Kathleen has a lot of recipes, and I've got a couple that um, were in my uh, tailgating book because I think they make a great tailgate snack. Mm-hmm, sure. Um, and a lot of them are are kind of sweet, which is fine. I like a sweet. Um, but when I was working on that book, I thought, you know, there's so much sweet, and especially we're coming up to the time of year when there's a lot of sweet coming at you. Mm-hmm. Um, I came up with a recipe that's more savory, and I mixed this up during the holidays and give it as gifts and people seem to really like it because it's a change up from all the candy and cookies it's um i roast the uh pecans with um rosemary and garlic because mm. um, i have fresh rosemary out in my yard now you do need to have access to that but ask your neighbors anybody who grows rosemary is going to end up with a lot of it and they'll be like sure yes please take it I have a pot of rosemary sitting on my porch right now, so there you go. <laughs> so you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's uh, super easy to make. You can use butter or you can use olive oil. I've done both, um, and it works either way. Um, you know, I don't know if um, if anyone would ever like that recipe. They're welcome to email me at debbie at com, and I'll send it on over. Okay, very nice. And and you say you uh, you give that uh, as gifts. You do have uh, my address, don't yes. you? Okay. Right. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind. <laughs> okay. Well, let me make sure I get you that to you. That. I'll make sure you have that right away. <laughs> I, I wish we were neighbors. I wish that for years. What we'd be doing this program in your kitchen, you know, rather than on the phone like this. Uh, we only have about a minute and a half left. Uh, but uh, some some closing thoughts, if you'd like to share with us, Debbie. Pecans, use them, eat them, put them in everything. I also make bourbon balls at at the holidays, and those have pecans in them. Oh, oh, that sounds good too. You know, if I if we fix waffles um, at, at home, I like pecans broken up on the top of my waffles too. I think that's always add a nice little crunch. I also think they go well with sweet potatoes, another classic southern ingredient. Mm-hmm. I think they match up really well with sweet potatoes. Oh, so, oh I um, agree. Oh, yeah. yeah. And as I said, this is the time to start looking for the fresh ones and stock up your freezer. Mm-hmm. Okay. All righty. Well, that's our uh, nut, nuts to you. Uh, that's our program for today. All right. Uh, Debbie, always a pleasure. Thank you. I'll direct people to your uh, Facebook page, which is... Um, Simply Debbie Moose. Debbie Moose. Mm-hmm. Debbie Moose. Um, Debbie Moose Facebook page. There is another. There is another one, but I'm trying to direct people to the Debbie Moose. Okay. Page. Well, that's the one I'm going to for sure. All right. Well, thank you uh, for this time. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and uh, get some good tips. And um, we will be back together, uh, maybe a little another holiday theme of sorts uh, coming up in December. Well, thank you, and just uh, get cracking on being nutty today. Okay, I'm I'm already there. <laughs> How many puns can I cram in one sentence? That, well, oh. that, you've done a good job <laughs> so far. <laughs> thank you, Debbie. Have a good week. You and, too. And, and happy Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Bye. Our friend uh, in the kitchen, uh, Debbie Moose in Raleigh, uh, please visit her Facebook page, and that is. Debbie Moose, and I'm Mike Moore. Thank you for tuning in.